Welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play The Lands of Lore. We've just arrived in the Northern Forest after exiting Gladstone Keep. Uh, Victor, the local blacksmith in there, showed us an awesome sword which I want, because currently we're wielding this pitiful little dagger here. And uh, we're gonna explore this forest looking for stuff that we can sell, or maybe just outright bags of money, you never know. And you can see the map is being updated as we just move one step. And eventually, before we go anywhere else, I will go back to Gladstone Keep and sell any goodies that we find. The nest is empty. I'm gonna try and click on everything that I can find, but I tend to not be very thorough in this game. This is a dead end from the looks of it. It does look like it can open, doesn't it? Hmm. Well, it's a dead end for now, at least. Didn't I mention bags of money? There are silver coins in here. This is a swarm. The nest is empty. I can show you how that works by. Uh, oh, look at that! <laughs> he has a very creepy smile. I, I, I noticed that immediately. I clicked this because I wanted to save the game. Uh, it's an automated thingy from like 15, 20 years ago, and it's still there apparently. I just wanted to save the game to show you how the swarm works. It's like a magical item because um, it has an, an option as well as something you can sell. Look at this. If there was an enemy there, he would have been stung to bits. So, swarms are very useful. And yeah, whenever I try to save the game, you'll see me uh, making everybody smile and then save it right away. This looks like a hoogie bushy sooty flora, I think. Is that a pseudo bushy huge flora? No, no, you're right, you're right. It's, uh, it's Is a. Is that a pseudo bushy huge flora? Yeah, yeah. You have a good memory, my friend. After a couple of years, I got it backwards. No time to make mud pies now. Ah. Oh. This is a lake. I dread is much too cold for swimming this time of year. And for the moment, it is a dead end. You can see that all of these things are nicely uh, situated on the map and are being um, described here. For now, we just keep on exploring. I hope I'm not doing this too fast, but you can't really slow down the turning left and right. Oh. Hmm. What would a beautiful young woman be doing on a road like this? Excuse me, lad. Are you with King Richard? Yes. I need to get into the keep and I have forgotten the password. May I go in with you? I'm sorry, miss, but these are dangerous times. Timid fool. I will not forget you. Yes, gentlemen, that was Scotia. She could have killed us right now, ended the game, and just ran the credits and it was the end of the let's play, but she chose to leave us alive. But you can see that uh, she changed into that crow, into that raven that we saw uh, earlier in Jaren's office. Maybe those two are working together. I don't know. Could be. This is the marina. I don't want to go there just yet. I'm going to turn around. Because this is the way off um, the particular mainland. Or sorry, no, you can cross, cross Lake Dread, I think. No time to make mud pies now. Oh! Hey you! I'm taking your money! Well, I was trying to make money, not give it away to you, so I'm not gonna give it to you. A good bluff or fight. And I'm all about fighting in this game because it makes you a tougher opponent the next time you meet a new guy, so... You won't get my money without a fight. We're gonna mess you up. <laughs> this is why this guy is awesome. I just threw in uh, his strongest magic. You can only do one spell at this point. It's called Spark. It's an electrical discharge. And he's the only guy that can do uh, level 4 magic right out of the bat. And, uh, well, it insta-killed this thug here. And this is what we'll be doing a lot with Arkshell. We'll have to sleep, get our magic back, hopefully without being interrupted. And then we can just keep on trucking. That casting of one spell also advanced our mage skill ever so slightly. And uh, we'll be trying to level up as much as we can in, this, in the arts of magic. The nest is empty. As you can see, I'm, I'm collecting everything and try to be as much as a back rat as I can in these particular games. Well, that's because also... Oh. Why are thugs guarding that cave? I don't know, but they are thugs. Hey! Get out of here! No, no, you get out of here. Come on. <laughs> there should be one less. Yeah, we can retreat a bit. Can we spark one? And now we're out of magic. And we need some luck here. I can stand toe to toe with him or slightly retreat. I, I, I cornered myself, didn't I? Yes, I cornered myself. 
Come on, hit for once. I can throw this rock at him occasionally. I might have to need a saw in a second. No, we killed him with the rock. You can throw stuff like this. And it actually hurts a bit. It improves your uh, rogue skill whenever you throw something and do damage. And currently Axial is such a bad fighter that he hardly ever hits anything. If he did, you could see the damage being shown on that little weapon icon here. Now we've cleared this cave. I don't think it's a big one, but uh, I want to go in well rested anyway. And this is our first little dungeon. Let's collect as many, uh, many anything we can find. There's a little button here. And as I pushed it, the wall has now moved. Oh, look at this. The lantern. It's gonna need oil to burn, people, but as long as we have oil, we can see in the dark pretty damn well with this lantern. A weather dagger. That's probably not very great now. No, that's horrible. That's horrible stuff. We'll take it anyway. This is a pressure plate. And here's another one. Of course, we can do stuff with that. And here's a thug's key. What will that be used for? Trash. <laughs> He's the only guy that doesn't say this line. He just says, hmm, trash. And that's it. Uh, trash. There are silver coins. Five here. coins. I think uh, this is all of it, except uh, we haven't explored those two pressure plates yet. Let's try and get them both down. There was another rock right here. Okay, so this combination opens a door here, or at least a wall. And now it closes up. This doesn't appear to work. But there are buttons in these walls. There you go. This is our first little chest. And luckily we find lockpicks. This is a basil cup, you can use it to heal yourself, it's a magical item, but it does expire. I think this cup has one little diamond left, which means you can use it once. There are also uh, full basil cups that you can use four times. Okay, excellent, more salve. Ten crowns. Mm. And it's empty, I always bang them up after it's empty, so I remember uh, that I've uh, looted a particular chest. It's like leaving my, uh, my signature behind. And this is the first dungeon. Let's get out of there in a hurry. And it was a lucrative one. We found our lantern, we found some more salve, and most importantly, we've uh, practiced our skills a bit. I hear something. I think it's a little piggy. Oh! And at first, Axial is pretty boring because you just insta kill everything with magic. The other guys, if you play with Kieran for instance, this is actually a challenging fight, but uh, as long as you keep your magic up, Axel will obliterate most of the early stuff on sight. Excellent, more swarms. I think we almost have enough now to go back to Victor. It's another one, isn't it? Is that a Sudabusha huge flora? <laughs> so awesome. I think that's the best line in the game. I think we've had everything, yep. And we're right near the castle. You may pass. Thank you. I remember back in the day on the floppy disk version, which a friend of mine bought. It was four floppy disks and no spoken word. Uh, this was the copy protection. You had to type in something from the manual, I think, and then you can get back into Gladstone Keep. For now it's not essential, but eventually, of course, you have to get back here once you've found the Ruby of Truth to give it to King Richard. But that's a long way out. You oh, wait. Again. Come? Yes, I, I come I to see you. Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. Maybe you go tell Jaren. That's, that's actually not a bad idea. Maybe you can do something useful about it. Uh, we found some crud, Victim. Fine work. Except for Rust Spot. Five crowns. Except for Rust Spot? Really? You're that much of a critic? Well, fine. I bet if I buy something from you and sell it back, you'll still complain about your Rust Spots, don't you? You need for sell that? Okay, my friend. Thank you. Here are the swarms. You need for sell wow. that? Okay. You can definitely have the swarms. We'll uh, use you magic to get out of bad spots. You need. You want to rock? That's not worth anything to Damn Victor. It. Maybe you have something else. Well, not much. 
You need for sale? Wow! No, no, definitely not. This thing will heal you up completely in a pinch. Fine. You need for sale that? Your neighbor okay, actually sells friend. it for 20. Ten you crown. do know that, right? I'll take it. Take it. I'm not too fussed about the salve, really. I'll keep one. And our inventory is nicely organized. All, all together. 161. Excellent. Plenty for this beautiful long You again come visit. No? Yes, actually in, in just a second, because you can buy this, uh... This horrible dagger for me. You again. Thank you, Victor. There you go. That workmanship. <laughs> Ten crowns. This is his own weapon. Okay, fine. You don't complain about rust spots then. You again come visit. No? Well, just a quick round uh, through the forest, and we have more money than we started out with, and a awesome sword which increases our might to 18. Uh, let's tell everybody that we just saw Scotia. He's probably freaking out once we do I've it. I've just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. Oh no! You should tell Jiron right away. Farewell then. That's what your neighbor said as well, so let's. Apparently, Jaron knows what to do. Why are you back here so soon? The king will be most displeased. I've just seen Scotia. She turned into a bird and flew away. What? The king sends you on an important task, and you return here telling stories. Our security will never let her in. Uh, dude, just look to your right, please. <laughs> She's right there, here in the window. Get uh. out. Do not return without the ruby. You, sir, are an ass. A professional one at that. Fine, we'll leave. Apparently nobody here wants to listen to us anyway. And we're gonna get as far away from this place as possible. We're gonna go to the marina and we're gonna get off this particular piece of the forest. Ooh. Excuse me, I need to book passage to the Southland. Where's your money? I have a writ from the king. Where is it? Uh, let's let's talk a little bit. Don't be so hasty, Axel. Maybe there's a conversation to be had here. And, you know. That's the last cretin who bothered me. Ah, oh, you're tough too, huh? Is this net for sale? Not to you. Oh, then please. Mm -hmm. I suppose you'll want to steer the boat too. You know what, on second thought, you're not that nice. Well then, hurry and get on the boat. Yeah, the sooner- wait, my writ! My writ! Give me back my writ! I have to go back at some point. <sighs> well, she looked nice, but uh... Evil to the bo to the bone. Southern Forest is where we are at now, and it's a slightly different look, but uh, still, there's more forest to explore. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. I think uh, you can click on this stuff usually. Not every time, apparently. Hey, there we go. Hello, and more rocks we can throw at people. You can throw them quite far, actually. They'll fly all the way, and eventually you have to collect them as soon as they hit a wall. Well, that was a dead end. I have no idea how these maps uh, really look. I mean, uh, I've played this game a bunch of times, but I'm horrible with pathfinding or finding routes. I'm just going to explore, occasionally look at the map, and try to uh, make sure there are no places that we uh, left unchecked. Oh, look at this. It looks nice here. Is he selling this stuff? Looks like he's just living here. Hello. Hi. Come on in. Thank I'm you. I'm Buck. If you to trade, you show me what you got or what you want. Well, I'm Axel, and I just sold all my stuff to another merchant. I'll sell that, you know. Ten crowns? A shield. We don't have a shield yet. It might come in handy. Buy the one on the left, and I'll throw in the one on the right. Ten ah, yeah, funny dude. Ten crowns. Yeah, I'm, I'm not liking these sandals. Let's go for the boots. Would you sell that? Sure. A hundred yeah. crowns. A hundred crowns is a bit above my budget. You buy the bow and I'll throw in the arrows. Well, that's kind of nice. Made it myself. Twenty crowns. Nah, we just sold one for ten. Are you eating lizard tripe? Yep, I don't usually cook it, though. Oh, no, you, you prefer it raw, do you? <laughs> Jeez. I bet you can smell this guy a mile away. Let's have the shield too. I'll sell that, you know. Extra protection will come in handy. We might have just found one so in the forest, long. but watch out for the orcs. Orcs? Orcs? 
Nobody told me there were orcs here, damn it. Yeah, that improved our protection quite a bit, which means we can take a bit more punishment, maybe avoid a blow here and there. And Buck's Skins is now on the map. Okay, let's uh, go this way. Uh, this is not an orc, this is a lizard. And he's damn huge, and he survived my spark. Okay, these are a bit tougher already, these are orcs, damn it. Lots of them too. There's another one behind there. Where are my rocks? I should throw rocks at them. Come on! I'm so glad I just upgraded my might. Sorry, my protection. Oh, ah, I'm dying here. Whoa, that salve healed me completely. And it needed to. Luckily I can press buttons while holding a rock. Oh, please let me sleep in peace. There's no point walking off and trying to find a better spot to make camp. You just might trigger more enemies. You just have to kind of hope that they leave you alone. Yes, no one needs rest. Let's make a different save game. Be smart about it. Let's play too. And we've got a little bit of loot here. Uh, yeah, we were going this way when that nasty creature turned up. Uh, I think I should go this way first. Try to click on everything that, that's sticking out as something odd. Ah, another swarm. Not sure if Buck will buy those. We don't have any point for money at this moment, anyway. Moment in time, anyway. I'm gonna go over here first, so that's straight ahead. And more orcs. We obliterated the first one, but uh, yeah, they, they keep coming for quite a bit at this point. Okay, I'm in trouble. And I lost my rock. Damn it! That's a good hit, though. Okay, give me back my rock. And this is pretty tense. <laughs> ferocious does mean ferocious. They're making us fight for it. That's why I'm trying to save a lot. And on different save games. And every time we're rested. I'll try to alternate three save games, I guess. Every time we're rested, I will save the game. Because we might die in these encounters. We're not that tough yet. Oh, nice. And these creatures are out to kill us. They want our blood. Oh, looks like trouble. It does look like trouble. Uh, we might want to postpone that bit of trouble. And explore a bit further first. I know what's coming up when we go there. Now, I'll be checking the map a lot. If you guys have a great sense of direction on where to go, uh, it's probably going to be slightly uh, irritating occasionally. Oh, I was almost cornered there. Nice! Look at that, we have a lot of magic left all of a sudden. And we need it too, because these guys are now swarming us. And let's throw in rocks and stuff. And, and maces, and everything else we can throw at them. Okay, we need to, to heal. That healed almost nothing! Damn it! We need to run and get the hell out of this place. Maybe a Buck will help us, but I doubt it. I'm actually running from orcs here. This is the marina again, yeah. Damn it! Nice. This is too close for comfort, guys. And I'm eating my way through all my inventory at the moment. I can cast another spell. Now please let me sleep! Jeez! <laughs> More of them! Those are bolts that you can see flying towards me. Okay, apparently Spark 3 kills them. Let's test that a bit more often and be uh, uh, less, you know, gung-ho with the magic. Let's try uh, Spark 3 before we do Spark 4. Okay, we're all we're all better here. Let's check out this marina while we're here. Let's see if there's a nicer person down here. Hello. Are you going north? Eventually. I not return to Gladstone until I find Sir Roland. We hung three orcs with that rope last Bravo. week. Bravo! Bravo! Really well done. I hate orcs already. Who has time to sit down these days? Captain Belka likes to catch his own breakfast sometimes. Are you from Gladstone? My brother Bacata studies with Dawn there. I've never heard of the man, but uh, 
If I meet him, I'll tell him I met you. Right, let's get back to where we were exploring. Um, but we might as well just go this way now. It's closer. Kind of gotten off track here. But that will happen often, especially on uh, Ferocious. What was that uh, over here? That's the Grey Eagle Inn. We've heard about this place. This looks cozy. This looks very cozy. We're gonna rest our bones here for a bit, and in the next video we'll check out uh, the clientele here, maybe have a chat with the bartender, and rest our bones.